A good day to all of you, my dear children. So today, we will be talking about reading text. Reading text for what? Look at the board. Extracts the general idea of a text. We are going to take a general idea from a whole text. It might be an extract from somewhere or from an article from a magazine, from a book, but from that we are going to take a general idea. I know you have faced many questions like this in your papers, in your exams and they give you a paragraph and they ask you to write a suitable topic, a su to give a suitable title for it and that is what we are going to learn how are we going to give a suitable title or a general idea or a headline for this purpose. Now what is this on screen? I know that all of you are familiar about this. Yes, they are about newspapers. You know, usually when you take a newspaper, what do you do? Now when it's me, what I do is I open the newspaper, go through the headlines and sometimes I only turn to the pages that I like. For example, if it is sports, I just turn to the sports page and that's it. And I glance and I know it's all about the sports activities and the sports events uh, locally or internationally. All the news are there. Just a glance and I get the idea. So what I did there was, what? Yes, I just read the headline and I got the idea. So usually it happens in both ways. Some read the headlines and know what it is. But at times we get only the text and we have to write the correct headline for it or the topic or a title for it. So today... I will be helping you a lot on this matter. Okay, my dear students, so let's go to the next page. Yes, this is all about the sports page I spoke. So in case, my dear students, that you don't get the headline sports there, you get all these pictures, the extracts, the details, then what do you do? There will be some words here and there which will give you a clue about what this page is about. Now for example here the eye catches the sportsman here. You know once you look at it this must be something related to sports. So therefore you start thinking okay maybe the title of this will be sports. And also if you just go through some of the topics, subtopics here, you will get to know it's all about sports. So today we will be finding out how to get general information from the information given in the text. You are coming to a general idea. Now here there is an activity, a very simple one for us to start. You can read, you have to match A and B and in A you have a text, a short extract and then from there you have to find which headings goes with it and here there are some headlines. So let us all read the headlines first. Are you ready my dear students? Okay, read with me. China stood firmly with Sri Lanka in the battle against COVID-19. That's A and then B. Frequent weather changes. And then C. Good news for highway users. D. Corona outbreak in Sri Lanka. E. India donated some medical equipment. So now let's see what the text says in A. So let's see whether there are any clues, 
whether there are any words which will help you to find the suitable topic there. So now, at a glance, I will think our road development authority, RDA, is something talking about roads. So now you know that most of you know, and then I am saying, okay, it's expressway. You know what is expressway? We have it in Sri Lanka now. And most of us try to use the expressway to avoid traffic and to reach our destination on time. So the similar way for expressway is highway. And we'll see what is told on the box B here about this expressway. Let me see whether you have found the answer. And then let's check with my answer. Right? Fine. Okay. Right. Now look at that text. There are some highlighted words in red. These words are the specific words that caught my eyes to match the topic on box B. Now you see the Road Development Authority, RDA, Southern Expressway. From these two words or phrases, I find out this is the answer. Good news for highway users. As I told you children, always find for some specific words which will help you to get a general idea about that text. So for that, do not be reluctant if you cannot understand the whole thing. Two or three words or phrases will definitely help you to find the correct answer. Okay, so now we have been discussing the first one. Let's see what's the second text. Now take it into your mind. What are the special words that catch your eyes, catch your attention or takes your attention? Now I can see something about uh, coronavirus. Okay, and then... Uh, I also see somewhere it's in Colombo district and something increased. Maybe coronavirus has increased. So now you know this must be something related to coronavirus. Let's see whether we have a suitable headline or topic to match that text. Okay, before that, did these words take your attention? The phrases which are highlighted there. Now you see I said 17, coronavirus. The word coronavirus, infected persons and Colombo district. You know what is infected? So many have got it. I am sure that most of you have guessed the correct answer. Corona outbreak in Sri Lanka. Alright, now you have confidence to move on to the next text. Right, the third one. Focus yourself on some specific words. Let me see what you have guessed and what matches with the text. And then I'll see. Okay. See whether you guessed the highlighted words correctly the phrases yes the Chinese embassy and then Bandaranaika International Airport something from the Chinese embassy and something has happened at Bandaranaika International Airport you think that you get these two words you understand only these two and whether you can find a relevant topic for this let me see okay there's something told about China here, okay, but, uh, but you have to be very tactful children. Though there is China here, sometimes this China and that text will not match. So as because you saw the word, you cannot match. There should be enough information for you to match with your headlines. Now, China stood firmly with Sri Lanka in the battle against COVID-19. And then we see about frequent weather changes. Good, uh, we have already taken this answer. 
and then answer C and answer D. So we have only A, B and E left. So it has to definitely be one of these three. And there you have Chinese Embassy and the Bandar Naik International Airport. And here China is with Sri Lanka in the battle of COVID-19. So one and one is two. And it's clear that the answer is in your hand. All right, is the guess correct? Well done, children. Let's see. So let's move on to the next one as you are now well experienced in finding the correct topic and you have already done three and there is only two more left and it's very easy to find out now. So we'll see whether, so whether something is there for us here and we have only two answers left. It is frequent weather changes and India donated some medical equipment. So now from these headings, headlines, you can see whether you have something about India there. It's clear children that you don't have anything about India. So then the remaining answer you have about frequent weather changes. So here it talks about the weather and there you have about forecast that showers or thunder showers and also it tells about the meteorology department and let's see whether our answers are correct. All right, okay, frequent weather changes, it's very easy and now I'm sure that I don't have to discuss the last one because the remaining one will be the correct answer and always it's like that and here we have seen the highlighted words, the phrases which actually take your attention and from that you get the topic for your answer and then you will do another activity to practice what you have learned. So now remember children our focus today is to get a general idea of the given text to give a topic to give a headline or to even match what is given in your text. So these questions are frequent in your level papers and I know you will be enjoying doing these activities today. Let's move on to the next one. Right. First you should read the instructions what's given which is very important because sometimes they give you to write the number. Uh, they might ask you to match. So instructions are very important. And you have to read them very carefully. And here it's about Shankar Drawing Competition 2020. And here you have a notice about that. You have some students and you have about drawing competition. Once you look at the text, you know the word drawing competition is there. And it's organized by Shankar Foundation and uh, it is also told about drawings that you can hand over and your art teacher has to certify it. So these details are included. So now what I am going to give is there will be a set of talented students after this uh, text and you have to see which student actually suits to go for this competition and for that you have to get some special words to match your student or the child who is going to involve in this competition. Okay, so you know it's all about an art competition. Let's see which child has the talent of drawing. Okay. Now you have A, B, C, D and E. Let's all join and read it. Kamalesh is an excellent actor. You see, he can act very well. Keep it in mind, my dear students. Imran can create new things using his technological knowledge. So create new things. Keep 
all this information about the students was given so it's very easy when you read the notice to match the person and then Kavindi is a talented tabla player so there there is a girl who can do aesthetic very well and then you have Farsana has a very sharp third eye so you must be wondering what this third eye is but it's all right if you actually cannot find the answer at the beginning for this third eye maybe when you do the other four questions you will easily get one remaining and that will be the most appropriate one according to the way you have matched it right let us see and then you have Danu won the first place at all island art exhibition last year I know that you must be very happy when I read the last answer because let's see it now Danu won the first place in the arts competition last year now children let's get back to the text what we saw earlier so we have been uh, discussing about the student who is very talented in art and who won a prize and here this was the text the notice that we read before that so by reading this text and by looking at certain words you got the general idea that this particular child can go for the competition it's Danu won the first place in arts competition last year so now let's see the next notice and who is capable of it right And before going to that we have I told you about some words that will really help you to find the answer it's about the drawing competition and the art society and you had the answer the child won the first place for art exhibition and you see how well the notice and the title suits and the person who can apply for it so there are little things children little tactics that you can use to match all right so let's go to the next one okay this is about a talent show now I told you earlier keep in mind about the children's capability we had five students there and they were capable of different things so here it is a talent show talent in what now when once you saw the title there the topic it was talent I remember mentioning the word aesthetic society when it's aesthetic it's art dance and music so for my memory I remember a girl performing very well in art or dance or music and let's see who that is right now we already got one answer about Danu so you can leave away answer E and now we are going to see only A to D and it's about Kamalesh is an excellent actor and then Imran can create new things and then Kavindi is a talented tabla player so you see children there are some special words like the previous text as well which match with the topic with the notice and the child's capability so that was a talent show and here we speak about the girl Kavindi is a talented tabla player so let's see whether our answer is correct okay right there you see the words being highlighted and it's very happy to see that we both you and me have got the correct answer and then from the beginning I have been telling there are some words that will take your attention and it will help you to find the correct answer and it is the aesthetic society and playing musical instrument the playing musical instrument goes there with tabla playing so it was very easy for you to find the answer and now the next one 
let me see how you fare in this and I am not going to help you. Keep everything what I taught you, any special words that will help you to find the answer. Okay, now I will show you the talented children, right. Now you already have answer C and answer E, so it's only three answers left and you have to find about the correct answer. So once again, I'll show you the text, yes, it's about a drama competition. So you know, some child has to have a talent of dramatizing or this child has to be a good dramarian and then if those talents are there in that particular child, it definitely matches with this notice. All right. Got it? Right. Mm. Kamalesh is an excellent actor. I know that you are very happy because you have guessed correct answers today. And then let's see what are the special words that helped you to find these answers. Drama competition and then you have excellent actor. So my dear students, maybe if you are not good readers, do not be reluctant to approach questions as such because little words help you a lot to earn a five mark and that goes far away. All right, I hope that I have given you enough of confidence to tackle such types of questions in your papers and then Now this is another one about a Super Inventor Award 2020. If any one of you have the memory about a student who can create something or who can produce something new, right? You have been studying about many inventors in science, uh, in so many subjects actually. And in your day-to-day -day life also you see students in your exhibitions who actually invent new things. And then I give you some time to go through this and some specific words which will help you. All right. Who is this inventor? Let us see. We have two left. It's a B and D. D, B says about Imran, something about Imran and D says about Farzana and uh, well, let's see what's Imran doing. Imran can create new things using his technological knowledge and now you see my dear students in that particular text it's about a super inventor award. Super Inventor Award 2020 has been organized by the Inventors Club of the school. The students who wish to present their new inventions should hand over the application forms to the club before 28th of this month. So it has to be something new and we read that this child Imran can do something new using his technological knowledge and let's see whether our answers are of course it's correct okay back again you get the chance you have one left and let's see what this third eye Farzana has do you have a third eye I don't have a third eye of course right this is, uh, this is about the inventor which we spoke and then we'll have about Farsana. Ah, oh, best photographer contest. So now you must be wondering, Farsana, the third eye and here there is a photographer contest. Yes, when you look through the lens of the camera, one eye, two eyes and the third eye is the camera lens. And here 
This is the best photographer contest and let us see what Farsana has done. Alright, that was about a uh, photographic uh, competition and here we have this girl Farsana has a very sharp third eye. So, I told about you the camera lens and that is the third eye and so Farsana is a suitable person I think and let us see whether the answer is correct. Okay, yeah that is it. And then we have found out all the correct answers and you say my dear students, how easily you found, you match the answers for these notices given. And you used some words which took your attention, photographer, photographic day and then Farzana has the third eye and you got to know the third eye, maybe it is a camera and that was the only answer which was remaining and you found it out. So, some children actually you do not have to go for the answers in order. You can just go through all the notices and then if there are something very easy for you, you can do them first and then you can keep the ones which are a bit difficult. Okay, right. Let us go to the next activity for today. This is an activity from your 2019 O-level paper. And here you have descriptions about some people and you have to see what you can do with these people. For example, read the first one carefully. Okay. And then the second one. If you cannot read the whole thing, just take the words which really take your attention or you might think that this might be useful for me to keep a general idea about that text. Okay, what is it told about? And then this third sentence, I hope that you have enough time to read them. And if possible, the fourth one, it is something about a hotel school and someone looking for a job. Yes, very good. And then let us move on to the fifth one. Right, that is also something about hotels working and then looking for well paid part time employment, which most of us look for. Right. And now let us see. Here are the advertisements. You have to go through these advertisements and get a general idea what these advertisements are about and see which person can apply for them or which person can actually fit in with this advertisement or the job vacancies. So students use all the tactics, the easy methods that I have taught because time saving is very important when it comes to an exam paper. So, if sometimes when you spend most of your time in reading this text, it might put you into trouble that you will not be able to attempt the other questions. So, let us see the first one. A. Help snack bar serving person. And let us see friendly and energetic and then call or drop in at King, Kingsway Centre Badulla. So, it is about a uh, job vacancy there and then here it is about guest favourite hotel and next is about a cleaner required and then you have wanted a babysitter and then you have full time cook. So, these are the vacancies that we do have here and we will see which person is actually looking for these jobs. Let us go to the previous slide. Okay, a person with two small children who wants a few hours of work unskilled labor in the early mornings. So, you know they have two small children and uh, I remember talking something about uh, when there are two kids, you need someone to take care. So, it is a babysitter. 
It's a very common thing and then we'll see how you can match them. Uh, my dear students, as you cannot write them, please you can put the number and the letter of the advertisement given and I'll give, be giving you time for that because we have been discussing so many activities and this is your time. Okay, now maybe I was too fast for you, all right, let's see, okay, back again the advertisements and then the people here who really want jobs who are looking and then I will give you the answers. So my dear students, we have come to the end of the lesson by matching answers, finding the correct answers and you know we learnt about getting a general idea from a given text and I hope that you will attempt this type of questions hereafter and you will enjoy doing them. Until I meet you for the next lesson, goodbye and stay safe.